Hello everybody! Welcome back to more Nino Kuni 2! Now, between the episodes, I have been quite busy. Let me show you what I have done. Okay, but seriously, first off, I have been working a little bit on uh, the kingdom. Quite a bit, actually. Let's see, first off, I have upgraded the castle. It's now level 2. As you can see, uh, yeah, <laughs> no real reason to go into too much details. I just thought I would show it off. But with our upgraded castle, we have expanded our kingdom even further. There's our shipyard, so we can make our ship jump, which is what we needed to complete the objective of the main quest. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. And I recruited a couple of new people. I don't really feel like going into too much detail, because then the episodes will just go on and on and on forever. Let's get to the plot and talk to Leander. Okay, it's been it's been quite a while since I've been recording <laughs> one of these episodes. Probably like four or five days. So I'm hoping I'm remembering every voice. Hello, Leander. Let's talk. It seems we have uh, all that we need. Then let us uh, have Ketch begin his research into how our ships can be made to jump. Let's do that. Ah, oh, not this guy. All set, your majesty! That Leander showed us what we need doing, and we went and did it. Quick as you like. You'll be leaping around the ocean like Billy Owen, that thing now. Thank you so much, Ketch. Now we can get to Broadleaf. Jumping the boat. Your ship has been modified and you are now able to jump the great rift in the ocean. Just sail up to the right spot, display in this display in this picture, and you'll fly over it dramatically. Oh fantastic. Alright. Everything's looking ship shape. Shall we get going? Oh well, <laughs> Bartus voice again. Uh <laughs> Before we set sail, just what kind of country is this broadly, eh? I never ventured as far as all Atomnia there. Hi. It is a kingdom founded by a mysterious art known as science. <laughs> the mysterious science. Science? <laughs> Great <laughs> reaction. It is a means of manipulating the power of nature, like magic, but unlike it. Mm. It's ruled by President Sif Vector, right? The inventor. He's some kind of genius, apparently. Thanks to his ingenuity, what began as a small business has grown into a great industrial nation almost overnight. Oh, sounds like a great person. Alas, it seems that things have not been going so well for him as late. There are reports of political unrest and of discont discontent among the population. Another kingdom with problems. Something tells me we're about to walk into another fine mess. Ah! Stop being so miserable, and let's get going, shall we? I, for one, can't wait to see the place. Yeah, me neither. It looked cool, didn't it? <sighs> oh my god, leaf book. Uh, no. No. Let's head to Broadleaf. <laughs> let's not head here. Broadleaf. To the warm-up. <laughs> god damn it. My castle is so confusing. How? No! Don't go back. When you first go, you don't go back. Okay. Let's just get on our boat. It looks kind of different already. Is it maybe the sails? Maybe. I don't know. Let's just follow the dot. I'll, I'll meet you by the dot, I think, because it looks like a long sail. See you in two seconds. Okay, we're back, and we're at the dot. Let's get going, shall we? Oh my god! And again! <laughs> Ooh, hey! Okay, that's kinda cool. Whee! <laughs> okay, where are we going? Let's see. Is this like a horrible place to jump? Probably. <laughs> Let's get going. Can I just jump? Nope. Not anywhere back. 
Okay, I'll just meet you by the shore because you saw on the map it was quite a long way around it. See you in two seconds. Okay, we're finally here. At the shore of Broadleaf. It took quite a while to drive around. <gasps> Seems to be some fart gases running around. Oh my god. What's going on here? Is this entire place exploded? How am I getting around here? Let's see. Like this? <gasps> we did it. And then like this. Oh, 46! Oh my god, the enemies here are so high leveled! Luckily, uh, between episodes I also leveled a bit. Let's see. Okay, let's just look and see what a battle looks like in this place. Ah, kind of a cool era. But as you can see, I've a lot higher level than I was the last episode. I think I'm probably leveled like 8 times or something like that. Something around there. That's annoying. Let's finish off. Oh, let's just finish this one off. Oh, I'm actually about to die. Oh, I died. <laughs> well, the two others can probably finish this match. Let's see. I also, between episodes actually, um, I forgot to mention this. Uh, I found one of those, um, one of the, one of the doors that we could explore. Uh, but at the end of the door, it was. <laughs> A boss uh, in level 50 or 60, I think it was. So I think I'm gonna have to level quite a bit to get those done. But I'm definitely gonna try to get all of those done. Because I really wanna see <laughs> what you get in the end. Probably you're gonna get to recruit that um, that lady, whatever her name was. Let's see, Evan, thank you. Let's see, where are we going? There it is. Uh, I have to go around, okay. Hello, sir! Nope. Wow, there's some new cool enemies here. Level 51! Oh, God. They just keep ramping up the difficulty. <laughs> Are we really gonna make it here? Time will tell. That's all I say. Oh! It's the it's the Vivian boss. The Vivian world. Just way stronger. <laughs> Broadleaf, let's go! What a flipping heck is this place? So the tower is. This is the main city of Broadleaf. I've never seen anything like it. Nah. Hey, I hear it's starting soon. So, starting what is? You're kidding me, right? Don't you watch the news? The anti vector faction is holding a big demonstration. Really? Against the president? Yeah. Up the landing, up at the landing pad, or so I heard. You think we should go take a look? You bet I do. <laughs> a protest, huh? Guess the stories about people here are being being unhappy were true. I suppose we better go take a look for ourselves. I suppose we do, Evan. But look at this music. Look at it. Listen to it. Hello there. Is your tummy hurting? Or are you just holding up your boobs? Remember me, Triptor. Thank you. You look like a Pokemon trainer. That's weird. You don't look like a Pokemon trainer. That's even weirder! Hello! Beep, boop, boop, boop. Hi there, going up. If so, up aboard. Beep, boop. Now, all you need to do is pick which part of the town you want me to go. Well, uptown, midtown, let's go to the midtown. Whee! What a fun town. <gasps> He's so proud of himself. <laughs> let's do it again. I think we were going to the uptown, actually. Uptown. Thank you, proud robot. I will be back for your more flexes later. But right now, I gotta... 
Take a look at all of this. Nonsense over here. Remember me. Hello? Are you catching Pokemon back here? No? Just looking sketchy. Hello? She looks really high. <laughs> it's kind of a technology hippie city or something like that. See, the landing pad is probably up here, Lofty. I hope. I'm just not working, uh, walking in circles. Hello there. Glorious. Wow, this place is really cool. I mean, this must probably be the biggest city we have seen thus far. Yeah. It's time, Bracken. Uh. All right. We better start by thanking everybody for coming. Huh? Nah. Who are you guys? I haven't seen you around the company. Sorry. But things could be about to get... Things could be about to get dangerous. Oh. You better leave. Oh. We were rather hoping to go... And meet with President Vector. Oh, I have to change the woman's voice. Evan sounds like a girl. <laughs> What's all this about, exactly? Mm. Ha! No, no, no. Ha! Meeting with the President? I don't think that's about to happen. Anyway, I'm Bracken. Bracken Meadows. I'm Chief Engineer here at Brother Industries. I'm the one who gathered all these people here today. We're going to try and make the President Vector finally listen to what we have to say. We gotta get through to him. To make him hear what, what the works workers this company re relies on have to say. So Golly. <laughs> it hasn't been the same since we started developing the perpetual f fission reactor. He doesn't care about anything except finishing that damn thing. Not even his employees' lives. Eh. Something like 20 people have already collapsed from more work. These conditions. They're unacceptable. Yeah. What? What kind of a leader would do such a thing? Mm. Hey Bracken, he's back. Yes. Alright, let's do it. Ready when you are, Bracken. Just say the word. Thanks, Prey. Maybe now. Oh. God damn it, Bracken. Why did you give me a little bit of a hint before you talk? プレジデント無茶な
普通僕に逆らうとひどい目に遭うってことくらいわかるだろう<笑>やっと私たちの前に姿を見せたわねプレジデントシャーリー君には失望したい我が社の重責を担っている君がデモ隊を指揮しているとはねなぜなのムサカ一緒にこの会社を大きくしようって頑張ってきたじゃないすごいことしようって努力してきたじゃないやっているじゃないかすごいこと魔導融合炉が完成すれば世界が変わるそしたら僕がこの世界を支配するんだそのためなら一緒に頑張ってきた仲間はどうなってもいいの昔のあなたは誰よりも思いやりのあるリーダーだったそれが今は仲間を顧みることもなく目的のためなら手段を選ばないいつからそんな風に変わってしまったのいつまでも進歩のない君たちの方が僕には理解できないね<笑>そろそろ仕上げの時間だな。That was Dolren. Damn it. We're too late again. Bracken, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, I guess we do. What? What are you doing, Bastion? How dare you disobey me? Looks like Bastion's gone. Bastion, Kingmaker of Broadleaf. I had no thought we would actually see the creature for ourselves. Yeah. Hey, you said we're here to see President Vector, right? Mm. Yes, that's right. I am Evan, King of Evermore. It's a new kingdom in the Heartlands. We have come to ask President Vector to send a pact with us and join our union of friendly nations. Wait, I think I heard about you guys. Goldpool and Hydropolis already signed up, right? Hmm. And now you want us on board too? Well, I guess I don't uh, need to tell you this, but now's not exactly a good time. 
We can say that again. If he's uh, setting his king record on his own people, imagine what it'd do to us. He didn't used to be like that. Bracken and me, we founded this whole company with him. We know him better than anybody. It's the per per <laughs> oh my god, every time. Perpetual uh, fission reactor. Ever since we started working on it, it's been different somehow. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this has, this was all Dolran's doing. Well, what is this Dolran? He's a strange masked man who's going around stealing the king's pawn of all the world's greatest leader. We saw him stealing President Vector's too. He pollutes people's heart with an awful blackness so that he can control them. I'm sure that's what he must have happened to the president. Yeah. What? Are you kidding me? Then we have to help him. Yeah. We'll help him, of course. I'm sure there must be a way of bringing him back to his old self. Mm. Based on what we have seen and heard, it would seem that uh, the president is quite seriously infected by Dolan's evil influence. Queen Naria being highly skilled in the magical art herself, was capable of resisting the darkness enough that restoring her to her senses was a relatively simple task. I somewhat doubt that it will be so easy in this task, this case. You said that you and your president Victor used to be close, for, didn't you, Bracken? Is there a way you could remind him of those times, perhaps? Oh. Try to snap him out of here. Uh, out of it by jogging his memory, you mean? Hm, I could work. So, yeah. You want me to remind him of the good old days, huh? Well, this right here might be a good place to begin. It's where the three of us started at all those years ago. We used to do all our work in the room right through here. It's still just how we left it. Hmm. Such a place might certainly hold a clue as to how we might proceed. Yes. Would it be a right to take a look at this workshop of yours, Bracken? Eh. Sure, be my best. Let us see. Where is this workshop? Where did it go? Let's see. Yep. Oh my god, there's so many posts! Oh my god, okay. I think we're gonna read some of them. <laughs> Wants to watch, Fido! Welcome to the first of an occasional series. Drawn attention to a talented individual, our first one to watch is Young Fido! An apprentice armorer from an illustrious family of fighters. He couldn't cut it in battle, but he has all the markings of a gifted craftsman. Really? He looks pretty ordinary to me. His bygone grandson, isn't he? Well, well. Why couldn't, couldn't he cut it in battle? I shall definitely keep my eyes on him. There's somebody you don't want. Oh my god, where did we go? Here we are. See, does any of the previous one get more comments? See. That would be kind of cool. Nah, it doesn't seem that way. Or is this new? I don't think so. I don't know. What is new? What is not? I can't remember where we was. Here we are. Oh, we forgot this one. Meet the incinerator, Tani. Look at this. Can you believe we really fought this thing? I know we were in the middle of a battle, but I couldn't resist taking a picture. After all, if it's not a leaf book, it didn't happen, right? Yar, you did well to snap that one. Not bad, eh? It won't fetch a pretty penny, you know. Oh, it actually wasn't the all. That was great. Really? Now that's a fine picture, all right. Thanks, I'm really pleased with it. Yeah, it's a goddamn great picture, <laughs> actually. Oh my god. The glory of Gobsmear. Bottle. At long last, I've completed it. Behold, the luscious. <laughs> Less vicious, lustrous lipstick bodily legs to call Gobsmere. If anyone would like to see it in action and take bodily out for a romantic candlelit dinsy wincy winner, 
You know where to find her. Gosh, I've never seen anything quite like it. Only the best for Bartleby. It really suits you. I do not know how... know quite what to say. There's some next level makeup right there. Come on. Are there no suitors for Bartleby? <laughs> the Taskmaster. Wherever you go, people will always need helping hand. That's why I decided to take swift solution on the road. Look out for me, and all my important quests aboard. Uh, quest board. On your travels. I may even be able to help you find fresh talent from Fridgling Kingdoms. Wait. What's to watch, GP? Here's the next installment of my series of profiles of folk with more talent than most. This time I introduce you to GP, the master cobbler whose skill with a hammer is second to none, whatever he's building or battling. We have already recruited him, so that's fine. How fun to be young. Carpe diem dog. <laughs> oh, fantastic name. All of children in Evermore love the teacher you can. She's so kind and sweet, there's nothing she won't do for them. Oh, being a kid was great. I wish life was still that simple. Oh, I would do anything to return to my carefree childhood. Anything. Oh, isn't that right? Not that being a grown-up is terrible. <laughs> right, right. Goldport joins Evermore. Best sight, best sit yourself down, because this is a big news. Goldpaw has joined forces with Evermore. Reports say that the Kingmakers Kingdom's Grand High Roller, Pugnacious, joined Evan in assigning what they're calling the Declaration of In oh, God damn it, this word again. Interdependence. The union is official. Really? They're working together now? But Evermore has only just founded. We can what can Master Pugnacious be thinking? Evermore is Prince Evan's kingdom, correct? That's it, King Evan to you! What is the Declaration of Interdependence? Sounds like Evermore really is one to watch. But what exactly is it? Apparently it's somewhere in the heartlands. But what? But that's in the middle of nowhere. It seems we have a new neighbor. What's Zing Dong Del going to make of this? Yes, what are they going to make of it? Newbie, the owner of the Iron Orchid, shared some of his knowledge with me. He spoke of a hidden skill beside an item of equipment that can only be unlocked by smithing of the very highest caliber. One day, perhaps I will be able to count myself among the number. Hmm. Dating Disaster's Henny. <laughs> Diary of a Dating Disaster. Could there be anyone more charming and involsome than this kind-hearted young teacher who traveled the world educating our youth? The answer is certainly no, which is a shame, because when I asked her to step out with me, she flat out refused. <laughs> she looks like the serious type. She used to come to, uh, come to the castle a lot. She's, she sounds like a marvelous woman. I wish I had a teacher like her. I do admire your courage and direct, directness. Thanks, but it doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> True that. Oh, the Wetton Botanist. Clerical cannon is similar to a peculiar plant known as prop leaf clover. By spinning its large leaves, it generates a breeze that can carry its seeds far across the valley. And if it gets... In the strong gets of wind, it can even whip up a military wavel wind. Yes. Does this plant really exist? Yes, but only in Clinical Cannon. I do not know if it blew its own seed like that. I did not know, he meant. He did not know. Pictures. Here's a sketch I made while visiting a cave deep underground. The dark water that flowed there served to chill the air, and I could not help feel that there was some present lurking in its depth. As soon as I finish this piece, I race back to daylight. It's in shivers on my spine. You have captured the darkness perfectly. I bet the place is crawling with ghosts. I love a picture like this. He has a really good picture. And the god am dead. <laughs> I confess, I am proud of myself today. It has been an age since I landed to catch this pig. It is surely enough to feed everyone in the kingdom. Great. <laughs> the charming charfire. Yar! Get a load of this fine snap of Charpin in his old fiery feared feathery glory. If you ask me, this more beautiful than even the fairest pirates. Fairies? Yeah. Look at its bright red eyes and the flaming tail. Arr! It's truly beautiful. No one takes better picture of monsters. I'm sure I'd like... I'm not sure I'd call it beautiful. There is something rather appealing about it. Its magic power makes it a fearsome foe. I just love Charfinishes. Or whatever it said. Master Pugnacious has changed. Yo ho ho. Ever since the truth was a real of his trial, Master Pugnacious has changed. When he announced he would continue his role as the Grand High Roller, there was an uproar, but now I'm glad he's still our ruler. Yeah, you speak the truth. Thank goodness the trial took place. We're grateful to our friends in Evermore. 
Treasure Time Part 2. Take a look at Do you recognize this place? If you do, you should get down there as fast as your luck can carry you because there's hidden something there. That's the first person to find is welcome to keep happy hunting. Gah, this is Sapham. No one's gonna find this. <sighs> do I even want to bother? The dirty great beastie that's been lurking out in our Iron Bow Grove has finally been sent packing and not a moment too soon. Now we can go into the deepest part of the woods whenever we please. Though, what anyone in their right mind would want to do is beyond me. True. True that. Oh my god, we have... I have to read this more often. There's so much at this point. Tani! Take a look at this. Have you ever seen a bigger boat? It's made from iron bow trees. So nothing gonna sink it in a million years. Higher poles, here we come. Arr! You'll find no find a boat. Arr! And there's no find a wood neither. That's not quite like iron bow. I'm happy to hear you say it. God damn you. The wandering wordsmith. Oh, the glittering light of the waves of the sun and the sink and the beyond the sea. It says that the fire and imagination, indeed I was so inspired by thee. Natural beauty of Hyderabalis that I wish to move here. Set a district lot of event to arrive as settling here. Hmm. <laughs> Philippos, Philippos, a bot has uh, seen uh, before it was sailing to harbor. Where in the world can it be from and who can have seen it? Every day, discipline. Ah, here is a picture I took when I had a patrol around Evermore. It's a marvelous to see the change that has come over Gaujia since he arrived here. He's like a young pup, eager to give all that he can. I must learn from his example. Oh, what kind of voice there? No, nothing like that. Did you have to post it? Okay, you're gonna get her voice. Ha ha! Come on, you're proud of it. Admit it! Fish are the greatest. This fine fish is known as the Big Finned Flyer. It uses its powerful fin to swim through the water at high speed, which makes it a real challenge to catch. But that does not stop us trying. Young merfolk have long loved to compete to see who can net one. What a flashy fish? Yeah, it is very bright and shiny. I can see why kids would want to catch one. They are very handsome, are they not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty in pink. Get a little of my dress. I look a million guilders, right? This was taken just before ever proposed to me. Well, uh, sort of. Anyway, it really suits me, don't you think? Proposed, you say? Badly, monsieur. More about this, yes. Oh, who's Lily again? Tony, are you serious? Evan proposed to you? No, not really. We're just messing around. You don't think I'd marry Evan, do you? Oh, I see. And I was so excited. <laughs> see, oh, I'm jumping over. Who oh, dared to propose and had Apollos? Do they not know the Lord of Years' love? It has. It was misguided and reckless to be sure, but I cannot forget it. It was such a romantic scene. Why must I be denied such delight? Truly, I do not understand our loss. What does Queen ne Nerea have against love? Do you think she has ever known it? Perhaps she is envious the loves of others. Perhaps? What is going on? I just had a dreadful racket and saw the palace guard running around in panic. I'm I'm sure they said something about Queen Naria. Is she alright? What in the world is going on? Oh, you would have known, would you? Listen up, because here's some big news for all of you. The Kingdom of Hyderpolis is the latest to sign the, up to King, Ever, Ever, Ker, King Evan of Evermore Grand Union. I can't wait to see who's next. Can this be true? Just what is he planning? It seems everyone's joining the club. Whoa, Golpo and Hyderpolis? This is simply amazing. When are we signing up? True countries now. This is big. Many of our wishes are moving. Why is that moving to Evermore? I can't wait to see what Evan does next. Neither can I. Is the law really changing? It sounds utterly fantastical, but it seems that the kingdom's strict law are all to be abolished. The queen herself has declared it, so it's possibly true. Does this mean we are free to love? That sounds marvelous in theory, but how in the world does one... Go about it. <laughs> yeah. Boat lover 111. Do you know Phili <laughs> Philippos? He wants to be a great hunter. I see him every day doing archery training. He almost never misses a target. He's amazing. And he is the same age as me. He's, as, he's really inspiring, but not to be lazy. Inspired me not to be lazy. Okay. I will do something with my life. I've heard he wanted to go to another kingdom. Yes, the taskmaster is helping him, it seems. It seems that way, didn't it? He's already in our kingdom. 
The next gifted individual I'd like to introduce you to is a fellow named by Proetius, a jewelry, a jeweler of genius. He was spurred on to excellence by the pain of a broken heart, and now aspires to learn new ways to craft wonderful items. He looks kind of odd, but I'm sure it's good. I have a piece he's made. It's amazing. Gosh, so he turned his sadness into beauty. Oh, that's so beautiful. I wish it was so soon to be done. Oh my god. Diary of the Dating Disaster Oh, headed to Hydro Palace, intent on witnessing Queen Aria's beauty of clothes, but so ended up catching my eye. I speak of the fair Lycorius. I bound up to her, eager to make her acquaintance, but she put me in an arm lock and had me rejected. What a woman! What a woman! So it's safe to say she's no fan of yours. Well, perhaps one could say that, yes. I have always thought Mirfolk were beautiful. Lacoria is particularly striking. Marching into the palace was brave indeed. Well, I spent three days in the dungeons. Goodness, your commitment is impressive. Yeah, truly is. Evermore coming along. Yee, yeah, we got new castle walls up, and the palace is starting to seem like a proper kingdom. Now to get the training grounds looking a little more presentable. Oh, and I know the boss is angling for a nice tavern to unwind into. <laughs> you goddamn drunk. You're the one who wants a tavern, Knibish. Ah, the cheek! Told you to cross my mind! <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> For years, I have longed to climb up to the highest point I could find and gaze at the world around me, but law forbade it. Well, I finally did it, and now I can safely say what I'm happier on the ground. That was ex absolutely terrifying. <laughs> well. About the flipping jumps! Crikey, have you seen a few things in my time, but I've never seen not like this. That Leander lad knows a thing or two about magic, I'm telling you. He's only gone and helped us to building a flipping flying bot. It could not have been done without you. Aye, well, you're not wrong there, lad. Boost my confidence, why don't you? This is the spot where I chose to hide a very special little something. And remember, find this keeping. Happy hunting. A search last time, but to no avail. Where could that be? Probably in Gold Pearl. Hmm. Brody. Hmm. Another engineer just passed out. Hmm. The poor guy hadn't left his desk all week. And I guess he just hit his limit. Somebody should make a formal complaint. But who dare go against Sip? The, the rotten is pretending. The greatest the trees and the plants found in the forest of Nial emits an enchanting light, making it feel as if the woods are full of mystery. This light is believed to be energy that the plants have absorbed from the soil and is apparently related to the glow given off by trip doors. So, you're sucking up light from the soil? It sounds like you like to see a tree that glows. I should like. How I long to visit this fi famed forest. Much remains to be discovered there. Ho -ho! A brief visit to Broadleaf. The wandering words met. I watched the sunset from inside the metallic tree house, the towers of a broad leaf, and much methodically on a circular retreat, known as a get up and a go nut. Though I decided this is not the place for me, the place of life here is far too frantic. <laughs> Great rhyme at the end. Ben, so I am just taking a look at a demo going on when. We should arrive on the scene, but Bastion, I never seen a game maker. E R R L. I never seen anything that big before. I just hope nobody gets squished. Bastion showing up. Are you serious? Bastion totally rocks. Fortunately, it seems nobody was hurt. Oh my god, we did it. <laughs> we did it, you guys. We updated ourselves. On Livebook. And in the next episode, <laughs> we will continue the plot. Sorry about so much Livebook in this one. Just tell me if you don't want me to read it. I don't know. I think it's really fun. So I'm going to read it. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode. And have a nice day and a nice evening and a nice week. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Hey! Bye.